everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today i'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the engineer's life mod pack in minecraft we're going to be going over every single step of getting the engineer's life mod pack installed set up all of that stuff it is all going to be covered in this video but first and foremost what if you want an engineer's life server well apex minecraft hosting is the perfect place to start an engineer live server in just a few clicks literally all it takes is just Going there, clicking on this mod pack, Engineers Live in this case, clicking save, and boom, your mod pack server is set up. Then you just download the mod pack like you're going to in this video and join the server right from the multiplayer menu in Minecraft. So awesome stuff there, super, super easy. It doesn't require any port forwarding. It doesn't require any setup on your end. All you gotta do is go to Apex, click a few buttons, and you are good to go. We actually love Apex so much that we have our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want a modded server, Apex Minecraft hosting is the only place to go. Check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash apex nevertheless let's go ahead and get this mod pack installed first and foremost the thing you want to do to get engineers live is go here this is going to be the second link down below it's actually our tutorial on getting mod packs with the twitch app it goes more in depth on explaining the twitch app and things like that overall once you're here all you need to do is click on the yellow download twitch button when you click on that, it will take us off to Twitch's download page, where you click, want to click on the Download for Windows button under the Twip, Twitch app for Windows. Twip, Twitch app. Okay, Twitch app for Windows. Sorry about that. Anyway, under the Twitch app for Windows here, click on Download for Windows there. That will then obviously start the download in the bottom left. You shouldn't need to keep the file on Chrome. You may need to save it on Mozilla Firefox, but either way, save the file there and minimize our browser. Now here on my desktop, I do have the Twitch set up. If this isn't on your desktop, no worries. It's going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click on the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Then when you click on that, go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder in Windows here. Click on that, and then once you do, it will open up the downloads folder. Take the Twitch setup, drag it from your downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use. Once you have Twitch setup on your desktop, go ahead and close out of the downloads folder and double click on this Twitch setup. When you do, it'll open up an installer like this, and it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is click on the purple install button, and it'll go ahead and install the Twitch app. It'll update it, do some things, do everything it needs to do, and then it will ask you to end or log in to Twitch. Excuse me. Now, it's probably gonna automatically recognize my profile here. Yes, as you can see, there it is. I can click continue. It's actually going to make me log back in as well. I'm going to do a quick jump cut and log in here. You will just enter in your username and password for Twitch. If you don't have a Twitch account, sign up here. Yes, you do need a Twitch account in order to log in to the Twitch app and play the Engineer's Life mod pack. So let's go ahead, log in here, and then we'll be good to go. There we go. We have now logged into the Twitch app here, and all we need to do is click on the Mods tab up here at the top. When you click on that, you'll have this whole entire list of games here. Obviously, we want Minecraft, so go ahead and click on Minecraft there. And then click on this purple install button. When you do, it'll go ahead and start installing Minecraft, and boom, there we go. It's actually not installing Minecraft, basically it's installing the Twitch plugin, or the Minecraft plugin for the Twitch app. Once you've got that installed there, you want to go on the Browse Mod Packs tab, and then we want to come over here to the search bar on the right and type in Engineer's Life, right? So Engineer, boom, there we go. So here's the Engineer's Life Mod Pack. To install this, all you want to do is hover over it, and a purple Install button will appear over here, and then go to the left and click on that purple Install button, and then it will go ahead and start installing this Mod Pack. It's that simple. It's going to take a while. It's downloading hundreds of mods and thousands of files, as you can see there. So go ahead, let it install, wait until it is done, and then once it is done, we will be able to launch the Mod Pack on up. But at this point, the hard part is over. Or you're just kind of waiting for everything to install. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until this is done installing, and I will see you once it is. There we go. The mod pack is now downloaded. How do we know? Well, it's no longer showing that downloading progress stuff there. And on top of that, it has a purple play button here. Now, you can click the purple play button there, but you can also go back to my mod packs and see that Engineer Life is, in fact, here as well. Go ahead and click play on the Engineer Life mod pack there. And it's going to go ahead and download Minecraft. So what it's doing is downloading the default Minecraft launcher. And then once it launches that up and has that downloaded, you will be able to see that Engineer's Life is, in fact, in the Minecraft launcher. Now, of course, we will need to log into the Minecraft launcher. The reason for that is because you need to own Minecraft in order to play a Minecraft mod pack. Just kind of like you need to own Minecraft to play Minecraft mods. So nevertheless, once we're here, we'll need to log in to the Minecraft launcher. This is the default Minecraft launcher, so nothing too crazy there. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until I've logged in, and then we'll be good to go. Once you've logged into the Minecraft launcher, you do have Engineer's Life down here in the bottom left selected. If you don't, click on that little drop down, and you should see it in here. If you do, click on it. Now, if you don't see it there, what do you do? 
Don't freak out about it. All you need to do is close out of the Minecraft launcher up here in the top right and click that play button again. This time though, you won't need to like log in or anything. It'll automatically be logged in here and then you'll see Engineer's Life in the bottom left. Let's go ahead and get this started up. Before we do though, we wanna add more RAM. Why? Because most mod packs require a decent amount of RAM. Now, Engineer's Life might be okay with the default three gigabytes that isn't like set by default for these mod packs. However, let's click on the installations tab here, find this engineer's life, hover over it, come over here and click on the three dots over here to the right, and then click on edit. And then in here, we'll be able to see if we click more options, right? How much RAM is dedicated. So XMX3228 is three gigabytes of RAM. I'm gonna upgrade this to six. Most likely you'll be okay with four, maybe even five gigabytes of RAM. But if I do 6,200, that'll be about 5.5 gigabytes of RAM. And that should be a decent amount. I'm also gonna change our resolution. You don't have to do that, but that's just so you guys can see once we get in game. And then click save in the bottom right. Now come back over here to play. Confirm Engineer's Life is down here in the bottom left, and then click that green play button. Now it's going to go ahead and open up the Engineer's Life mod pack. Expect this to take a while, right? It's going to take a while simply because it takes a while to open up my mod packs. Every single mod pack out there is going to take a while to open up. So I'm going to go ahead, do a quick jump cut, let him out of the office here. He's getting antsy. And um, we're going to go ahead, let Rover out of the office. That's the most important thing. Rover over there, letting him out of the office. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and let this download and I will see you after a quick jump cut once Minecraft is actually opening. Right now it's just downloading the version. All right, so the download just finished there and now it's going to just not show anything for a second as it's kind of preparing all these mods and getting ready to actually open up Minecraft. Mod packs take a while to do everything. From opening up to installing to everything, it's taking a while, right? This could take up 15 minutes to open up. So of course, for that, we are going to do a jump cut. Now, if this does turn white, looks like it's gonna crash or something, no worries. Don't freak out about that. Just let it sit there and see what happens. If it does crash, you need to add more RAM. That's the issue. If it doesn't crash, which it most likely won't, it just, just working through its kind of own thing there and getting the mod installed. So I'll do a quick jump cut and I will meet you on the Engineer's Life main menu. All right, now here we are on the Engineer's Life main menu. Now, you do have this weird issue where <laughs> you can't see the entire main menu. Just kind of drag it out here and I believe it will eventually kind of show up there. It's actually not. That is interesting. So you can fix this in game. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I just jump straight into single player. I'm just going to, wait, create OTG world. What is this? I don't know, biome bundle, continue. I'd probably recommend doing this because it's going to allow you to, um, you know, get all the custom stuff that is allowed, obviously, with this mod pack there. Wow, lots of settings. We're gonna go ahead and click continue, click okay. And now this new world is gonna generate. We're gonna do a quick jump cut, one more, and then we will be completely finished with getting the Engineer's Life mod pack. So here we are in game. There is a horse dying in a tree. That's weird. Anyway, if we go ahead and pause this, you can see all the different stuff here. And I switch or fix that weird issue on the main menu. Just come here and change the GUI scale from auto to probably about normal, but we're gonna go ahead and leave it large just because that's gonna help you all out and be able to see. But yeah, here we are, we are in the Engineer's Life mod pack. We have the quest book here that's going to show you how to do everything in game. And this mod pack is, is a lot based on automation, right? So it's a very automation based, and that is one cool thing. Now, one thing I will say is we have a base over here that is already spawned in. So let's go over here and check out this base real quick before we end this tutorial. Obviously, we do have the mod installed. There's no denying that, or mod pack, I should say. What is this? So I don't know what this is, just a random coordinate, but there's a base here. Is this a, uh, is there something? I, I, let's go into game mode. We're cheating a little bit here, but I want to, uh, I want to just check this mod pack out. I'm not necessarily here to do anything other than that. Ah, it seems like there might be something cool down here. I don't know. Interesting. That could also be a leftover from like an other tutorial I've done or something, but nevertheless, there you have it. Let's say you can get the Engineer's Life mod pack installed. And uh, yeah, hope you do enjoy this mod Pack. It's a ton of fun. It seems like a really cool engineering automation based mod pack, which are my personal favorite. That is my personal favorite kind of mod pack is an automation engineering based pack. And so, so many mod packs are not that these days. They are, you know, more towards magic and things like that and farming and all sorts of stuff. But I like my good old automation mod packs. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Enjoy the Engineer's Life Pod Pack and come join us on our server, play.breakdowncraft.com. It is an incredible server with two survival servers, aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy and medieval survival with a player based economy and 30 custom quests. We also have awesome factions with things like custom enchantments, custom faction upgrades, custom mob coins, custom spawners. It's, it's, it's a lot. Everything is custom actually. We literally didn't leave a part of factions untouched. It is awesome. It is incredible. So come play with us there. Then we do have 
incredible skyblock as well with OP enchantments, really cool finch generators, really cool generator setups. It is just a ton of fun on skyblock and awesome quest system over there as well. So go check out all of those on playdartbreakdowncraft.com. All the information is in the description down below. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.